Hi, I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. Uh, today on our Maintenance Monday, we're going to do a compression test. Okay, so part of dealing with really high horsepower vehicles, pushing the envelope and testing new parts, is ensuring that the vehicle that you're working on is in good, healthy condition. And by you're working on, I mean we're working on, because if we're going to give you stats, they need to be right. That means we have to verify that the engine in this truck is healthy if we're testing new parts. All I can tell you right now is we are definitely testing new parts. Okay, so a compression test, really what it says is, how much compression is the engine making just cranking over? And the test goes like this. We take the glow plugs out of the engine, we put the, uh, the fitting into the glow plug hole, and we hook up a pressure gauge, essentially. Okay, We get good amperage on the battery, we crank the truck over at least six times. After six revolutions, Jared's going to look on his gauge and he'll see the needle start to come up. Wherever that needle lands is going to be our compression number. Should be in the mid-300s and we should have no more than 50 PSI spread across the board per GM spec. So we'll let these guys start cranking the motor. We'll see where we're at and compare numbers. Go ahead. To make sure the truck doesn't start, uh, having the glow plugs out of it's a pretty good way to make sure that happens, but otherwise disabling the fuel supply will do that. So which hole were you on, Jarrett? Uh, that was four. Four. And um, two was 350. Okay, so four is 325, two is 350. Yep. Okay, why don't you show us that little apparatus you're using so we can kind of get a better picture of things. On the bottom I have a glow plug that was removed and on the top I have our probe for a compression test. That's just a straight through glow plug without a tip and then that'll hook up to Jarrett's adapter here like so. Cool. And then all the way to the gauge and you can see what the gauge reads. Pretty simple but effective. The reason the compression test is so effective is that it can catch a variety of issues with the engine. Now, it's not going to help you narrow down exactly what's wrong will help you narrow it down to a cylinder though. So let's say we have all cylinders somewhere around 350 PSI cranking. We have one cylinder that's 180, 190. Okay, we'll clearly know that that cylinder is a problem and we need to either pull the head or pull the motor and see what's going on there. Um, easy to pull an injector, stick a borescope in there, maybe see what's going on. Uh, start pulling valve covers off, see if we've got any broken valve train components. There's a, there's a number of things. So we could have lost a valve seat, we could have burned a valve could have the uh, well, last motor we had taken out um, actually had a, a bad ring and the uh, the bore was out around at the top so everything looked fine but the when we measured the bore it was out around three twenty five on number six there's also a good way to find out if you've got bent rods at the end of the season. So if you're a sled puller and you're on borrowed time, maybe you're running the stock long block at 750 horsepower, you want to do a compression test at the beginning of the season, compression test at the end of the season, see maybe, okay, I went from 350 PSI cranking to 280. Well, that'll, that'll tell you something, all right? Okay. Three fifty. Healthy. Uh, okay, so the doctor called and our results are in. So we got a bunch of them at three twenty-five and a bunch of them at three fifty. That's over three hundred and less than a fifty-point spread across all eight. So we're still good. And what I didn't tell you is we've done this test before in this truck. Results were similar. We've since put quite a bit of power to it and uh, tested a few new goodies. So this is, uh, this is good news. Engine's still in good health. Uh, the Duraburb is still a strong runner. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Nick. This is DuramaxTuner.com. We'll see you next time.